In this video, I'm going to go over my favorite weapon in the medic class, currently the auto-loading 8.25. Now, I know I've made videos in the past saying that the Farquhar Hill is my favorite and the RSC is my favorite, and I kind of switch around. But right now, I am using the 8.25 a lot, and I'm going to explain why I enjoy it so much, and pretty much why I feel as if it's a very strong contender for the best close-range medic weapon in the class. Of course, it's probably not the best when it comes down to stats, and I'll explain that in more detail as the video goes on. However, it is a very competitive weapon when looking at all of the different options, and you'll see that with the gameplay in the background. Now, the autoloading 8.25 is very strong in close quarters, as I mentioned. 38 damage up to 16 meters gives you a solid 3-hit kill, and assuming the enemy has taken a little bit of damage from a previous engagement, two-shot kills at close range are often a thing. If you can mix it up with a headshot, then you'll be dropping enemies very quickly indeed at those close quarter ranges. Now when we look at the damage over distance, there is a downward move until it bottoms out at 21 damage a bullet at 45 meters or more. This is a very steep damage drop off and you'll definitely notice this when using the gun. If you're trying to kill somebody at longer ranges, even before the TTK patch it was horrible and after it, making pretty much all medic weapons slightly stronger. A lot of other weapons are made stronger too, but in general medic weapons have been made stronger this is still evident and you will struggle at those longer ranges. This gives you a possible five shot kill at that range, which although isn't great, it can still get you out of trouble if necessary. That being said, you really want to keep your engagements as close as possible. I find that this weapon excels on maps such as Nivel Knight's front lines, where you are in the trenches and you're close range. If that's what you want to be doing as a medic, this is a very, very strong choice. Now the fire rate of the weapon is 359 RPM, which is the same as the .35 and is only beaten by the Fedorov in the medic class. This means you can spam the hell out of this weapon, you'll see it in gameplay in the background, I am spamming it at close range. If you're not very good at clicking and you can't get that fire rate, maybe this isn't the gun for you and the Fedorov would be a better option. When taking a quick look at the reload, the reload when empty is 3 seconds and the reload when bullets are remaining is 2.4. Not the best, not the worst, it's certainly okay considering you get 16 rounds in a magazine. Now let's take a quick look at the time to kill, comparing it to the M1907, the 8.35 and the RSC, three weapons that I think are very good since the patch, and to be honest we used a lot before the patch as well. At 2 meters your time to kill is 337 milliseconds with the 8.25, that is faster than the other three weapons, the M1907 comes in at 405 milliseconds while the 8.35 and the RSC share the same time. At 22 meters, your time to kill ups to 368 milliseconds. This is the same as the 8.35, very similar to the RSC, and is way faster than the M1907. At 38 meters, however, your time to kill jumps to 559 milliseconds. This is beaten by all three of the other weapons considerably as they stay around their 22 meter time to kill range. The bullet velocity of the autoloading 8.25 is 660 meters per second. This is fairly slow when compared to other weapons in the class, and you'll definitely feel this delay when trying to take enemies down at longer ranges. For close ranges, this is no issue, but obviously at those longer ranges, you can get into some trouble trying to take on a decent player that has a more suitable gun. Now, as I mentioned before with the time to kill, if you're looking for longer ranges, there are plenty of weapons out there. The RSC is probably the best all-round gun at the minute with that two-shot kill up to 70 meters. You will be a beast with it. It's not too bad at close range as well. 16 rounds in a magazine allows you to take down multiple enemies without having to reload, meaning you can be more aggressive pushing objectives. When I use the 8.35, I can really do a lot of damage to enemies at most ranges. However, the problem is reloading. You have to adapt your playstyle completely and going aggressive on objectives often leads to reliance on your secondary weapon. Now let's compare the auto-loading 8.25 to the M1907 and the Fedorov. Both weapons can be used in close quarters, and I think it's a fair comparison to the 8.25. I don't like the sweeper version of the M1907 at all. It has too much spread increase and not enough spread decrease. Overall, just too much spread, so I would rather go with the trench for the hip fire or the factory for everything else. The 1917 has a higher damage output to the 8.25, but a lower rate of fire. In terms of pure close range blasting, the 8.25 wins. The 8.25 also has less recoil, but a lower recoil decrease. The Fedorov has less damage than both the 8.25 and the M1917 factory. However, it has a faster fire rate and a larger magazine. This could make it far better for spraying into groups of enemies. And you'll all probably know if you've used the Fedorov, it can be a beast in the right hands. The damage over distance is also better than the 8.25, so again we're down to that same consensus. At very very close range, the 8.25 wins, 
but at anything else, there are far better choices. So overall, the 8.25 is very good, but it really only shines at point blank range where you're going to be outdone by shotguns and SMGs anyway. Now remember, the 8.25 has a slightly better TTK than an MP18 or a Hell Regal, but it doesn't have the best hip fire in the world. It's not very reliable at that hip firing stuff, and although you can just ADS, it doesn't have a scope in it or anything like that, that's an additional thing to do. So ADSing takes time. Hip firing is obviously quicker, and if you have a reliable hip fire, you can be very deadly at close range. That unreliable hip fire and steep damage drop off that we discussed earlier are the things that really hold the 8.25 back. If the 8.25 was to have the same hip fire capabilities as the 1907 trench, it would be insane and probably overpowered and then would need a nerf. But as it doesn't, you really have to get used to what it's good at. The 8.25 is quite a niche gun in a similar way to how the 8.35 is, so don't take it and expect to destroy everyone at everything. If you're looking for a more dependable weapon, choose the 1907. I'd recommend the trench for hipfire and the factory for everything else. That being said, there is just something about the 8.25 that I love. It's also worth noting that the 8.25 is the most used weapon in the medic class right now, even after the patch, and this is mainly down to it being a non-DLC choice, but also it's very easy to get used to and just get onto the battlefield and get a load of kills with. Some of the other weapons require a bit of time and a bit of work, especially the 8.35, although not a direct comparison to the 0.25. That weapon takes a little bit more time to get used to, and that's why a lot of people put it down straight away. They complain about the five rounds and they complain about having to reload all the time, not realizing that if you adapt your playstyle a bit, it is a complete beast. The 8.25 is easier to use overall, and is a very, very nice weapon for those close range engagements that you often find yourself in as an aggressive medic. Now, although you don't always see me playing with this exact loadout in the background, I would suggest taking smoke grenades as a medic. I'll be making a video on how to be the best medic possible on Battlefield in the future, and it is definitely noticeable in Battlefield 1 if you take those smoke grenades when it comes to reviving teammates. They are very, very strong, especially on front lines, a mode that you all know that I love. Thanks for watching this video. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know your opinions on the 8.25. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.